So your artwork hasn't sold. What can you do? Hi everyone, my name is Soraya. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today as I'm creating my latest painting, I'll be talking to you about just that. What can you do when your artwork hasn't sold? So when an artist's artwork goes unsold, and it's happened to me a lot of times, uh, you're not alone, it can be really disheartening and it can raise questions about what the next steps that you can take. Um, and there are several options and strategies to consider when you're faced with this situation. And here's one. It's important for artists to take time to reflect their work and really evaluate the marketability of the work. We think that our work is great, uh, we love it, but will it sell? And uh, that's what you need to consider. Maybe get some constructive feedback from some peers, not just someone who'll say, oh, I love it, it's great, but really get some very good constructive feedback from peers, mentors, mentors, <laughs> um, even art professionals, just to gain some insights into the strengths and the weaknesses of your art. You can analyze if there, if there are any areas for you to improve or adjustments to be made um, so that it goes with current trends or preferences. Something else to consider is your marketing and promotion. Um, are you exploring different avenues to enhance um, your marketing and, and promotion efforts? Uh, this could include your portfolio, uh, your website, social media presence. This all um, makes an impact on who sees your art. The online and online art community or a gallery, uh, art events, they, these can all be places where you can gain exposure and connect with potential buyers. Also, you can consider collaborating with other artists, as a lot of people do, just so that um, you expand your reach to other groups and potential buyers. What you can also do is kind of reevaluate your pricing strategy to make sure that it aligns with the value and the quality of your artwork. Uh, you can do research um, in the market to understand the pricing trends uh, for maybe something that's similar to your style and in, me and in your medium. And also, um, how is your work presented and packaged? Is it really professional, professional framing, high quality um, details and descriptions uh, to, so that potential uh, customers, buyers can really understand what they're getting. Okay, here it is from my side and I love the way this turned out. Look at that sweep over here and the cells that go all the way across. Look at that. Quite beautiful. I love the white background. I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to see you back here in just one second. Here it is dried up. It dried beautifully exactly the way I left it. Super, super happy about that. And uh, to me, this kind of looks like an abstracted wave. I really see that. And so I think I'm gonna enhance it by adding some blues. So uh, stick with me, I'll show you what I do in just one second. I'm going to start by adding some uh, Payne's Gray Pebio Studio. And I have to decide where, hmm. I just do little bits down here. You could also consider repurposing or recycling. If uh, your artwork still remains unsold, you could repurpose them in different ways. So you could create prints or greeting cards or uh, some kind of merchandise featuring your artwork. You can also explore licensing opportunities or consider also donating artworks to charitable organizations or fundraising events 
which can uh, help others also generate exposure for your art. So they see it at a charitable organization and they want to support the artist. So they bid on your artwork and then they may go to your website and see what else you have. Now, another thing that I've done in the, in the past is consignment. So all you have to do is approach a local business cafe or a restaurant, and you just ask if there's a possibility of displaying your artwork on consignment. Um, this allows you to exhibit your art while giving the patrons the opportunity to purchase it. So it widens your audience. Now, here's another strategy art rentals. You can investigate the opportunities for renting out your artwork to businesses or individuals who may be interested in temporarily displaying it. This approach can generate income while keeping your artwork visible to potential buyers. This is some cobalt blue. Patience and persistence. Selling art can be challenging and it's, a, and it's a process. It's always a process. It often takes time to find the right buyer. Patience and persistence are key qualities to maintain while continuing to promote and market your artwork. I've had other uh, older pieces that I thought, oh, no one is interested. And then somebody out of the blue just says, do you still have that piece? Uh, and there, sure enough, it gets sold. So you never know. This is light blue from Artist Loft. So here's another thing to think about. Unsold artwork can gain value over time, especially if the artist's reputation grows or if the artwork becomes sought after by collectors and um, art enthusiasts. So while initially it seems as, you know, very impractical to, uh, to keep these unsold artworks around, they're taking up space, um, it can potentially lead to future sales. Now, unsold artworks also offer opportunities for the artist to revisit their work, maybe refine their technique or experiment with new styles. They can serve as a source of inspiration and learning, allowing the artist to reflect on their creative process and make improvements. This is Prism Violet by Liquitex. Now this might be a little bit controversial because I know some people say that once an artwork is complete, you shouldn't touch it. But I'm of the opposite uh, mind that when I see something over time, my style has changed, my techniques have changed, I have uh, become a better artist. So I want to you know, try and change the artwork and see what else I can come up with, it, with that artwork that used to be one way and you change it up to something totally different. Now, you could also totally reuse the canvas. Uh, sometimes I have done that. You just don't have enough canvases around and you've got this old um, piece of artwork lying around. You might as well try and do something with it and learn something new from that piece. I'm just toning down some of the colors with a bit of white that has been uh, diluted, just the tiniest bit amount of water. I'm finding the whole thing a little bit uh, strong and I want it to be soft.
Lastly, remember that the art market can be very unpredictable and success may not come overnight as much as we would love to have that happen. You got to stay motiv motivated, continue creating and, ex and explore various avenues to showcase your artwork. As long as you uh, love what you're doing, you have a passion for artwork, you want to keep learning and exploring and uh, creating different techniques and um, gaining experience, that's what's important, creating the artwork that, that you want to create. Okay, so I thought I was done, but after living with this for a couple of days, I think I'm gonna add some cadmium yellow, um, just to bring out some of that kind of yellowish color from the gold up here. Since there's a lot of blue, I don't want it to look green. So it's just going to be sparingly, sparing small amount, <laughs> just a small amount here and there. little bit into the gold as well. Okay, so the yellow was it, I believe. Um, I think it looks great. It just added that little something that was missing. I was looking at it over the last couple of days and it finally dawned on me i need to connect the gold up there with a little bit of yellow and uh, i'm glad i did i think it looks really good this way there's still some just a little bit of the light blue going either way and it is very much to me anyway an abstracted wave and this kind of reflects what's happening here in a very different way. So these two connect. And that wasn't even intentional. It just kind of happened. There you go. So I love the abstracted look to it. I've got up close images coming up, so watch out for those. And click on the link you see now to see more of my artwork.